Well, you will know today's video, I'm gonna be feeding all my big cats. So we've got fresh salmon, fresh beef, fresh chicken. We got our sashimi, so let's actually get it right on our knife right here. We're just gonna put it right on in just like that. So, so we're gonna just sprinkle this on just. Oh, he's going for the salmon. She's using her molars and her canines to crunch and munch. <laughs> What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle I live here in sunny South Florida on a beautiful five acre preserve So if you guys are new here, well, you guys are gonna see my beautiful property my incredible animals And if you saw the title and thumbnail well, you will know today's video I'm gonna be feeding all my big cats. Everyone asks me. How do I feed my big cats? How do I feed the servals? How do I feed nebula the clouded leopard? Well today I'm gonna take you guys through a full diet prep of what I do each and every day to feed and take care of my big cats. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, well I've actually got all of our food supplies and we're gonna head outside and start making our big cat food. All right, so we're outside at our meat prepping station. Now this is normally where I do all the meat prepping. Now we have this nice table that we can easily clean off and today we have all of the essentials to feed my big cats. Now feeding big cats is a little bit different than feeding a regular cat. Big cats actually eat raw meat, fish, chicken, pork, red meat, all the good stuff. That is what they eat. So not only are they getting that, but let me just give you guys a little breakdown of what we're doing here today. So obviously we have our number one ingredient. So we've got fresh salmon, fresh beef, fresh chicken. Now to go along with that, well, I also have our feline oasis. Now this is a multivitamin for big cats. So this is what big cats need. It has all the necessary nutrients because Regular meat doesn't have a lot of nutrients, so it has taurine, which big cats need for their eyes. It's got all the stuff a big cat needs to be a big cat. So we've got that. Now we also have our Fast Track Probiotic, which is going to make sure our cats have a healthy gut flora and some extra calcium because we've got some calcium in the bones here but we don't have enough calcium for the cat, so we supplement it with some calcium for the cats. Because if big cats don't have the right amount of calcium, well guys, they have weak bones. Big cats are used to crunching and munching on the bones, the teeth, the hooves of animals. So that's why we give them that calcium now. We're gonna get started with our meat prep. So we have our four bowls for our four resident cats. We've got bowls for Cheech, Chong, and China, and then Nebula, my clouded leopard. All the animals have bowls that are labeled specifically for them. We also have a scale because we actually weigh our food out. Each of the adult cats gets about a pound of food a day and then China is um, just getting smaller portions. So let's get started guys. We're gonna start out with Nebula's bowl right here. So to start out, we put Nebula's bowl on the scale. We zero the scale out because we wanna start at zero and Nebula is going to get about 15 ounces of food. Now, we're gonna start with the best stuff. We're gonna start with some fresh, delicious salmon right here. This is fresh salmon that I could eat but today my cats are gonna eat it. Look at this delicious salmon right here. So we gotta make this salmon last for all the cats. So I'm thinking Nebula is gonna get this little bit right here. Then Chong is gonna get this. Then Cheech is gonna get this much. And then this last little bit will be for China. We might not use it all for her. So let's get this in for Nebula. So we're gonna slop it on in. And we have got three and a half ounces. So we still have some room to fill on up. And now we're gonna move on to our ground beef. So we've got our delicious ground beef. Let's cut this on open right now. And I forgot to put it on, but guys, make sure to wear your gloves when you're handling raw meat. I've got my glove and we've got this fresh ground beef, ground beef that I could eat now. Of course, we wanna smell it. it. Smells delicious. All right, we're gonna take it right now. We're gonna put this on in. So we're at how many ounces? Seven, eight? 10, 11 ounces. So we're gonna add some fresh chicken right here. Now this has bones and all kinds of good stuff in there. So let's grab a chunk of that. And we're at 14 ounces. Now we just need just a tiny bit more. So let's give her just a little bit more ground beef. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And we're at 15 ounces there. So this is Nebula's bowl. Now we're gonna do all the bowls first and then we're gonna add our vitamins to it. So again, this is for Cheech right here. We've got his bowl on here, but we're actually gonna cut his salmon up a little bit. So we're gonna give him like some salmon sashimi, just like you'd get in the restaurant. So we're just gonna kind of thinly slice this salmon right here. And I actually might go back to Nebula's too and slice it on up. But we're gonna give him some nice sashimi right here. We've got our sashimi, so let's actually get it right on our knife right here. We're just gonna put it right on in just like that. So we have our 
salmon for Mr. Cheeto Man. Now we are at three ounces, so let's actually add some chicken. So we got one and two piece. Let's add one more little chunk of that. So now we're gonna add some ground beef for Cheeto Man. So let's just add some of that in just like that. And so once we get to 12 ounces, we're good. Now, normally Cheech and Chong will get a little bit more food, but because it's mid-July, it's really hot. All my cats are actually eating just a little bit less than they normally would. So we've got our chicken, we've got our beef. Let's put that right there. And now it's time for Chong Man's bowl. So Chong Man's gonna get a nice chicken leg. So let's throw our ch two chicken legs in there actually. We've got that. Now we got four ounces of that. Now we're just gonna cut up our salmon for them. Guys, I think they're gonna love this salmon. Guys, let me know down below. Are Cheech and Chong gonna like the salmon? They never had salmon. They've had fish, but never salmon. So guys, they might like it, they might not. One minute, 37 seconds later. We've got Chong Man's bowl, so let's actually set that aside, and now it is time for China's. But the only difference is we gotta cut it really small, since China is still a young serval cat. She cannot chew bones, and even with a big chunk of salmon, that's not gonna be good for her, so it's a little bit tough to get through the skin, but guys, we're gonna cut this all into nice, tiny little pieces for China, and I think she's gonna love it. So we measured our portions for China. So we have two ounces of chicken, two ounces of salmon, and two ounces of ground beef. This is going to be a delicious meal for China. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our chicken. We're gonna put that right there. And then we're gonna add our salmon on top just like that. And then we have our ground beef. So we're just gonna kinda put it on top just like this. And we're gonna smash it on in, guys. Look at these bowls right here. We have got some delicious bowls for some incredible big cats. We've got all of our bowls prepped. This is only the freshest ingredients. And that's all I will feed to my cats. I don't like any second grade stuff. I only like the freshest stuff because guys, if I wouldn't eat it, why would I feed it to my cats? So now that our incredible bowls are prepped, well now it's time to add our vitamins. So we've actually got to add our Oasis vitamins right here, our Primal Calcium, as well as our Fast Track. So to get started, we're gonna take and do about a scoop and a quarter of Oasis vitamins for Cheech and Chong and Nebula. So we're gonna just sprinkle this on just like that. Now we're gonna start out with just a scoop for everyone just right on top, just like this. Now this, this vitamin right here is going to give all the cats the good nutrients that they need to be strong cats. Cause again, just feeding them straight up store-bought chicken is good for them, but it doesn't have all the nutrients that they need. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit more here, a little bit more there, there, and then time for Mrs. China, who's not gonna get too, too much, because she's still a young cat. She's only about 12, 14 pounds, so we're gonna put that much there. Our Oasis vitamin is done it's to the side. We've done that now. And now it's time to add our calcium in. So we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on China's food. We gotta sprinkle a bunch here on Cheech's or Chong's. I'm not sure whose bowl this is. And we're just gonna sprinkle some of that just right there. And a little bit more right there. And now it's time for our probiotic. Now we give the probiotic to ensure that our cat has a healthy gut flora. So we're gonna sprinkle a little there, a little here, a little there, and a little there. So guys, our bowls are complete. We actually gotta rub the vitamins in right now. That's how we're gonna ensure that it's nice and rubbed in for the cats. We're just gonna rub it on in just like that. Really, really good stuff. So now that our bowls are finished, well, where should we go first? We've got Cheech, Chong, China, and Nebula. Guys, let me know down below right now, who should we feed first? You know what, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna feed China first because she's the smallest one. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy. So. Let me cover these three bowls up, put them in the fridge, and let's go feed China. All right, we're headed on in, and China is ready to eat, so. Hello, Mrs. China. So, okay, I've got your food right here, right here, Mrs. China. So we're giving China her food, and she immediately started eating it. Now she's sniffing because there's all different scents. She's getting the scent of the chicken, the scent of the fish, and the scent of the red meat. Now, what did you choose first, China? You like your little food? You like it? It's so good, it's so yummy. So again, being able to feed my cats the best quality diet is just incredible. So China is just munching on her food right here. That's some, that's really good stuff right there, right? So China is not discriminating. She is literally eating every bit of it. She's just kind of stuffing her face full. And that's what I love to see, seeing my cats enjoying their food. Oh, oh guys, she's, oh my, China. Oh my gosh! Okay, China was being a little food aggressive, so we're gonna leave her to eat and let's go feed Cheech and Chong. So we're out at Cheech and Chong's now. We've got their food and as you can see, my servo boys are wanting their food. Guys, I have food so you can see they're actually pawing out right now to get their food. So we don't wanna get too close to them because they are ready to eat. So we're gonna start with feeding Chong now. Chong gets shifted into this lockout. So basically what I do here is I've already unlocked this, so I just open this latch. Now I just walk on in, 
and I'm gonna put his food over here in this corner. So when you feed big cats, you actually wanna feed them separately because these guys can be quite food aggressive. So you can see Cheech and Chong are waiting here at the door for their food, but we're gonna wait for Cheech to walk away. I'm gonna let Chong in. So Chong is in and he's going to his food. Are you eating? So Chong has started right with the chicken, so that's what Chong wanted to eat first. So he's munching on that chicken drum, that chicken leg right there. That's some good stuff, but he's also got fish, red meat, all kinds of yummy stuff. Chong, it's so tasty and oh, you're walking away. Oh, he's going for the salmon. He is loving the salmon. That's some good stuff, Mr. Chong, man. So I'm gonna let Chong finish eating his food right here and we're gonna head inside and feed Cheech now. So we're going in with Cheech right now into our through our double door entry and Cheeto Man is here. He's ready for his food. Now, when I have this bowl, Cheech is like a dog. He'll literally follow me everywhere. So we're just gonna go for a nice walk over here with my Cheeto Man boy. Yeah, man, that's just really good. So we actually feed Cheech right over here on this deck, but I actually wanna see him eat this salmon first. So I got the salmon right here. Wait, Cheech, you wanna try that? Oh, oh, he just, oh, he already got it. Look at this. And oh, oh, look at that. He just took that piece right there, guys. Getting to hand feed these cats is incredible. Oh, and he took his chicken. So I've really hand feed these cats several times a week. And by hand feeding them, it keeps them nice and calm and tame. So he's eating that chicken right there. You want this red meat? So as you can see, he's using his back molars right now to crunch and munch on that chicken because there's a lot of bone in there. So you can see he's got all that bone right there. He's using those molars to crunch it and Guys, it's so incredible to see how they just crunch through that bone with such ease. So we're gonna let Cheech and Chong finish eating now. And now it is time for our last cat, Nebula, my clouded leopard. We're gonna go feed her right now, but guys, I have a special twist on how we're gonna feed her. We're gonna do kind of like a charcuterie board for her. So let's go do it. So we've got Nebula's bowl here and to spice things up a bit, I'm actually gonna bring Nebula out on a harness and we're gonna bring her up on the table and see what she wants to eat. So we have our salmon covered in vitamins. We also have a nice chunk of chicken and then we've got her absolute favorite, which is red meat. So we're gonna do a bunch of red meatballs for the pretty girl and I'm thinking she's gonna absolutely love it. But this is a charcuterie board for a big cat. Um, I don't know if anyone's done this before, but guys, I might be the first. So we've got our board ready. So let's get Nebula out and see if she wants to try it. So I've got Nebula out right now. She is my year and a half old clouded leopard. So this is backpack, one of many enrichment activities that we do. We run around the property and she just hangs out on my back like this. So Neb, why don't you get on down just like this? Why don't you get down right there? So we've got our board and Nebula's coming over. Let's see if she wants some. Okay, she's already licking. Guys, what is Nebula gonna go for first? So Nebula is going for the ground beef first. As you can see, she's got these large canines. The clouded leopards have the biggest canines for their body size. Now, she's liking the ground beef, but Nebula's never had salmon before. So Nebula's coming here to eat more ground beef and we got her having the salmon and oh my goodness, look at that. She is loving the salmon, skin, scales, and meat, everything. Guys, Nebula has always liked fish, but this is her first time having salmon. Now, I, what I really think she wants is the ground beef right here. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, why is Nebula's eyes blue? Well, Nebula's eyes are blue because she actually has a rare eye condition. It's called endothelial dystrophy. So that means that the cells that regulate fluid in her cornea are dying off, meaning there's all this excess fluid in her eyes. That's why her eyes appear this white color. There's nothing that we can do about it. We've been to eye specialists, vet appointments, and what we're doing now is we actually have a special ointment and cream that we put in our eyes to keep the pressure low so we don't have any ulcers that appear, but this is very rare in a young cat. Again, Nebula is only a year and a half old and this should not happen on any young cat. So guys, it's just a genetic problem. So the best thing we can do is take this day by day each and every day and yeah, Nebula is licking the salmon and she is loving it so far. So you can see she's using her molars and her canines to crunch and munch on that salmon. She's pretty much eating the whole piece. You want some more, pretty girl? You want some more or some beef, guys? Well. I think Nebula's done. So guys, I don't think Nebula wants too much more food. So that's gonna end today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy watching today's leopard charcuterie board feeding all of my big cats. Nebula wants to go. So if you guys wanna see more of my crazy adventures with big cats, well guys, all you gotta do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.